Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here and it is Wednesday the 28th of December, the year rapidly coming to an end now. Um, <clears throat> and uh, some noticeable um, things to point out in the ECM and G ECM WF and the GFS models uh, during this morning. Um, just a quick reminder, thanks for watching uh, today. Um, the site is kept free of charge by the adverts you see around. So if you see an advert you like, click on it, go through to the advertiser, it generates revenue for us and it keeps the site free of charge. Now, the uh, charts that you've got in front of you here at the moment are the 7 to 10 day means of the 500 millibar flow from the ECM WF here on the left and the GFS on the right. And um, these are valid from next Wednesday through to Saturday the 7th of January. And um, first of all, just want to point out to you the, GF, the uh, ECM WF look. There's the jet stream coming in from the States. Um, we've got a right entrance region down here on the jet. and Coming across the British Isles, we've got a really strong jet stream there, look, going through Ireland and across central parts of the country. Quite a ridge out towards the western parts of the states with this deep trough out towards the east and the reciprocal ridge here in the Atlantic. Now, just compare that with the GFS. It's making um, more of the ridge, um, extending it more eastwards um, through, the, uh, through the southern part of the British Isles and western parts of Europe and still digging in this trough of the eastern side of the states. Now, um, <clears throat> subtle difference there means that the let me just get rid of that means that the uh, the jet stream itself is actually um, not quite. I mean, I can get it back into position for you. It's actually not quite as uh, it's not picking up air from quite cold a source. So, if you follow the green line there back, look, see it's coming off the eastern coast of the states, um, as opposed to the GFS, which has got uh, the green line further south and trace the blue line back and it's coming off Newfoundland. So we've got a bit of a discrepancy there still between the models. This was there yesterday and it's there again today. And um, both models though are showing a strong jet stream through the British Isles during the course of next week, the back end of next week, indicating strong winds at times, de well developed areas of low pressure bringing gales and also rain probably sweeping eastwards, most of it to the north. Southern areas tending to stay under this area of high pressure but the, the key fact, the key question is how cool does it go and we've seen this um, slow decline in temperature over the uh, past few runs of the model and um, it, it's kind of becoming evident in the uh, Arctic Oscillation and the uh, NAO2. This is the Arctic Oscillation forecast from midnight last night from the GFS and again notice this gradual slow decline towards neutral. This is telling us that the um, prevailing westerly winds around the Arctic Circle are weakening and that's a signal for cooler conditions to move into the uh, into northern parts of Europe. Compare that to the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation again from the GFS last night and you can see how despite being in positive territory at the start of the year look it's this gradual gradual downturn um, going towards this neutral area which means that conditions across the Atlantic, the westerly, the mild westerly flow, it's hinting at this decreasing around about the middle of the month. Now that's kind of what I've been saying for the uh, for the for the past few uh, few days or so that I think this period middle to the end of January is one of our focus periods for the weather becoming colder. Now that's not to put it back into the levels that it was last year, but I think certainly it looks like we could be seeing this this cooler snap of, um, of winter starting to come through as these two indices get their way back down towards neutral territory. Of course I'll update you more and more as we go through the coming days uh, but for now keep the sun shining, thanks for watching and remember to support the site. If you see an advert you like click on it uh, and go through to the advertiser. Once again thanks for watching and keep the sun shining.